Hey guys, and welcome back to Tennessee Grilling and Smoking. I'm Dustin. Today we're going to be making something that's great for any kind of a party, any kind of get together you have, or when you're just sitting by yourself at home and you just want something great to eat. We're going to be making the armadillo egg. With this one, it takes just a little bit of preparation, but it's well worth it. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is get everything you need together. I've got a half of a block of cream cheese. I've got half a package. It's about four ounces of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm going to be using the Italian hot sausage. Got about a pound of it, and I'm going to need about 12 pieces of bacon. And that right there should get us. Don't forget the most important thing, of course. You have to suck a buster hog water or any kind of spice or a rub that you want to use. I like that hog water, any kind of barbecue rub you like would be great, but I'd recommend suck a buster for anybody. All right, first thing we're going to do, go ahead and we're going to just take off the tip of our jalapenos. And uh, I don't have a core out of song, and I think they're a great idea to have, and I really wish I did. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be digging my knife down, down the length of it, cutting around and pulling those core and getting those put that core and the seeds out. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick, and uh, then we'll show you what's next. All right, next we're going to go ahead and mix together our cheese. So we've got half a package of the eight ounce cheese, about four ounces there. I've got a half of the block cream cheese, and. This is where we're going to go with the sucker buster. We're going to throw this in there to give that a real good flavor on the inside of that jalapeno. So we're just going to mix this together real good. And you know what? Let's do this. I put it in about everything, so I don't see why I wouldn't put it on this too. A little Frank's Red Hot never hurts a thing. Thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and stuff our jalapenos, then we'll get the beef out, we'll wrap or the sausage out, and then we'll wrap them up. All right, when you're filling these things now, you want to make sure that you push it all the way to the bottom. Get your spoon, just throw you some on top, push her down, keep doing that until, you, until it won't pack anymore. You don't want to bite down into a big old air pocket, that's for sure. Trick to these things, make sure they're full all the way through. Sausage. You can see I got the Italian hot sausage, but you can use about anything you want to use. I just like things with a little bit of a kick. So we're gonna mix this all together here. Alright. Alright, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna tear me a piece of it. sausage off and I'm just gonna push her down there. Lay this thing right in the center of it. I'm just going to wrap it and work it together. Completely covering, coating that jalapeno. Give it a nice, just like that. Now ain't that pretty. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'll do that to all the rest of them. And then we'll take her to the next step. All right. So I just got some regular slice. I didn't get the thick slice bacon or nothing. And what we're going to do, we're just going to start right here. Might need two pieces for eggs. So yeah, there's one. Go ahead and get the other one right here. Do 
you don't want to pull it too tight, but you want to pull it tight enough. So, oh, man. Well, one thing about smoking, you get the flies. All right. So you can either tuck it in side of each other or you can just use toothpicks. I'm just gonna stick the toothpicks in. Just don't forget that you stuck them in there because you don't wanna forget it when you chow down on them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of them and uh, I'll be back. All right, that's about it guys. I'm just gonna throw a quick little topping with more of a little bit more of this hog basket or hog waller right over top of it. Not very heavy, just enough. And we're gonna take her out to the smoker. All right, and every time I cook with bacon, wrap anything with bacon, you know, I always like to put it on my jerky rack to catch that, catch that bacon drippings going down. I don't want it to hit that box and get any kind of flare up, so I'll just throw it on the jerky rack and I think this will suffice. All right, let's go out there and try it. All right, guys, we got her on there. We got the grill set at 225, and I went ahead and I lit up my, my smoke tube, give it that extra smoke flavor. I'm using applewood chips, so I believe that's gonna be a good combination. So I think these are gonna take about two hours to go, two hours to finish, and we'll come back and check, we'll come back and check it here in about an hour, see how we're doing. Okay, so it's been two hours, and let's go ahead and check these out. They look great, let's check the temperature. So we're sitting about 160. That's about where I want it to be. So what I've got now is I've got my barbecue sauce and I'm just going to lightly coat all of them with the barbecue sauce. I'm going to crank the heat up to about 400 and then we're gonna let her sit for maybe 10 more minutes. They should be just dry. All right, we're sitting about 160, so it's time to go ahead and coat these things with some barbecue sauce. I've got the uh, I've got this new kind I haven't tried before. It looked really good. It's craft beer Chipotle barbecue sauce. Uh, so I've got it down in my little cup. We're gonna go over there and we're gonna brush them up, get them glazed over and crank the heat up to about 400. All right, we're just going over them with a little bit of this barbecue sauce and give it a little extra flavor. And I'm going to do this to all these. And then when I'm done, I'm going to crank it up about 400 degrees and let it sit for maybe, maybe 10 more minutes. And I believe that should be all we need to do with these things. They look great, man alive. They smell delicious right now. So this is going to be, these are going to be pretty good, guys. Pretty good. All right, we got them glazed up, and my gosh, look how good those look. Man, these are gonna be amazing. All right, I went ahead and I got it cranked up to 400 degrees. We're gonna let it sit for another 10 minutes or so, come back and get them off and take them to the kitchen. All right, it's been 10 minutes at 400 degrees, and yes, sir, check it out. I'm in the kitchen. All right, guys, here they are. They came out great. They look amazing. They look amazing. I, they smell wonderful. They look really good sitting on this board that my friends down at the Greenback Design got me. Be sure to check them out. I'm going to put their uh, link in the description below, so go and check them out. But guys, look at this right here. This is what it's about. All right, we're going to have to cut into one of these. I might not, I'm, I might need to wait a little bit longer, but I really can't, really can't help myself. So let's cut this out and hope that cheese is set up enough. You see that? That is perfect. Look at that smoke ring. That's in that. That turned out so good. So, yeah. Only one thing left to do. Burn my tongue. Mm-hmm. Wow. My gosh. This is spot on. Wow. I, I love these. This is amazing. I've got a lot, there's a lot of heat going through right now. <laughs> Those are some ripe jalapenos, I think. But boy, that, that tastes so good. And it's a, it takes a little bit to, a little bit of prep time, but guys, it's so worth it. Just follow my, follow my video step by step. <laughs> That's really good. I'm gonna have to eat. 
But yeah, it's, it's totally worth it. I definitely recommend this. Give it a try. It's going to be a great hit. I think. I believe I'm going to make this. Uh, I believe I'm going to make this quite a bit. So. Hey, thanks again for watching. All right, guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure if you liked it, give me a like and a share. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. I'm still trying to grow my channel, trying to do you know one to two good cooks a week. And uh, be sure also to check out my good friends down at Greenback Designs. Their uh, their uh, link is in the description below, it, and uh, they've got you covered on any kind of woodwork. They did my just an awesome, awesome job on my cutting board, and they do everything from candles to uh, squirrel picnic tables. So. Give them a shout, show them a little love. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know, let them know. We'll get back with you. And uh, just thanks again for watching. And if you keep watching, I'm going to keep cooking. So I'll see you next time.